Hello, welcome to this essential course on communication skills. This is Communication Skills 101, an introductory course that will help you achieve success in your chosen career by helping you realize what the importance of communication is and why does it matter so much in our world today, in the workplace, at home, in your relationships at work, relationships everywhere. Indeed, for a productive and successful career, communication is key. This course will help you achieve effective communication and help you see success in your chosen career path. First, what exactly is communication? Communication is nothing but interaction between people to exchange information, feelings, or emotions. When you engage in effective communication, that is communication that is successful and the message is transmitted correctly and effectively to the other person, then you can hope to have success in your career and the added benefit of productive relationships. Productive relationships, you ask, but doesn't that involve personal relationships and our personal lives? Yes, it does. But even at work, you do have professional relationships. And for those relationships to be successful, you need to engage in effective communication. That is what helps you achieve success in your career as well. But you may well ask, isn't communication only at the workplace? Isn't that where communication skills matter? And indeed, this is an important issue. Communication is all pervasive. It is everywhere. Everything we do involves communication, that is giving and receiving information. We are communicating all the time, everywhere, with everyone, at home, at school, at work, at play. Think about it. When you buy a ticket at the metro station, don't you communicate with someone to buy the ticket? When you smile at someone in a bus, aren't you communicating with that smile? When you ignore somebody in an elevator or don't make eye contact, you're still communicating. You're communicating the fact that you do not wish to be disturbed, that you do not wish to engage in a conversation with anyone. So as humans, we communicate all the time with everyone in every way, by talking, by not talking, with our bodies, with our appearance, with our attitude, our expressions, our online presence, sometimes by interrupting, sometimes by not listening, and sometimes by listening, and sometimes by empathy. We communicate with our emotions, with our hand gestures, with our facial expressions, with our body language. We communicate all the time. We communicate face to face, over the telephone, when we send emails and SMS messages, when we post on various social media sites like Facebook and LinkedIn, we communicate when we listen, we communicate when we talk, when we present, when we play, when we buy, when we sell. Indeed, we communicate all the time. The way we dress, eat, walk, greet others, express fear, love, or anger, or any other emotion, all this is a part of communication. All these express who we are and what is important to us. This is how other people perceive us. We communicate both verbally and non-verbally through facial expressions, body language, hand gestures, when we're listening, even through our very silence. Given that communication is all pervasive, we cannot stress enough its value in our personal life and at the workplace. Success in your chosen profession, be it banking or customer services or programming, depends on how well you can communicate with your clients, your colleagues, your bosses, and even with strangers. Strangers, you say, how do we communicate with strangers? Well, think about it. Sometimes you're meeting a new client who indeed is a stranger. Sometimes you have to talk to people 
as part of the business relationship over the telephone or via email. You may not know them. Who are they? They are strangers and you're communicating with them. So we communicate with people we know and people we don't know. Our promotions, salary increases, recognition at work, why even the very first step of landing a job rests crucially on our ability to communicate well. Good communication is extremely important in the workplace. To put it in a nutshell, good communication equals success in your career. Your communication skills are central to creating harmonious workplace environment and this leads to more self-confidence and job satisfaction. The quality of your relationship with your boss, your colleagues, your customers depends heavily on your communication skills. Whether you get a job, whether you retain your current job, whether you get promoted, whether other recognize, others recognize how well you're doing, all this depends on how well you communicate. Employers rate communication skills as the number one criteria for hiring. If you look at this image, you will see that employers rate candidates' soft skills or qualities in order of importance here. And the very first quality is the ability to verbally communicate with persons inside and outside the organization. So how well you communicate seems to be the first quality that employers look at when they are hiring employees. Of course, other qualifications are important as well. Your job and your ability to do the job, that is important. Your proficiency with computers is important. Your ability to obtain and process information is important. But in all of these, the most important qualification is your ability to communicate. So this is the number one criterion that employers look at. Can this employee communicate well? Should we hire this person? If he or she can communicate well? Certainly, most certainly. This handout illustrates a survey of what qualities or skills employers value most when they make a decision to hire a candidate. And as we noticed, the ability to communicate well is at the top of their list. On a personal level, with good communication skills, you will end up having fewer conflicts in life. You will be more likable and more influential. People will enjoy your company and will listen to you. This will enable you to resolve differences amicably and build trust and respect. It will create harmony in your life, leading to better relationships with friends and family. If you have good communication skills, people will enjoy being around you. They will listen to you. In a nutshell, good communication equals better relationships. You may wonder, how do I develop these communication skills? If I'm not born with it, how will I learn it? Well, no one is born with good communication skills, but everyone can acquire these skills. It is not rocket science. It is a skill that can be acquired by each and every one of us. Taking this course will get you started on the right path, but you will need to use it in your daily life. You will have to use what you've learned. Practice, practice, and more practice. Think and learn from each encounter. Make it an integral part of your life. Learn from your mistakes. What did I do right in this communication? What did I do wrong? What can I do to improve upon it? So by making communication skills an integral part of your life, by learning from your own experiences and enriching your own practices, rest assured you will be rewarded for all your efforts by richer, growing personal relationships on the one hand and a successful thriving professional career on the other. So what should you do? Take this course, learn the basic concepts that are easy to understand and with your own motivation and practice you will achieve success in communicating well 
Make communicating effectively a major goal of your life. Think and learn from each encounter. You will be richly rewarded for your efforts and loving and caring relationships and a successful and productive career await you. So with that said, let us get started on this exciting journey.